Second lawsuit against Coinbase advances as judge rejects most of motion to dismiss. Jimmy Aki last updated, March 27, 2024, 1715 EDT, two-minute read. Judge Catherine Polk Fela of the U.S. District Court of the Southern District of New York ruled on March 27 that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission second and Coinbase lawsuit can proceed. The judge's decision came after Coinbase filed a motion to dismiss the second case, which borders on allegations the exchange operates as an unregistered securities, exchange broker, and clearing agency. Judge Fela tags Coinbase lawsuit as plausible. In her ruling, Judge Fela declared that the second's lawsuit against Coinbase held plausible ground. The two parties were instructed to submit a case proceeding plan by April 19. The court finds the second has sufficiently pleaded that Coinbase operates as an exchange, as a broker, and as a clearing agency. Under the federal securities laws and through its staking program engages in the unregistered offer and sale of securities, the court document read. The district judge dismissed many of Coinbase's arguments in the filing. She granted a partial victory to the exchange against the regulator, however, dismissing the second's claims against Coinbase's wallet. The judge ruled that the regulator's claims fails for the independent reason that the pleadings fall short of demonstrating that Coinbase acts as a broker by making wallet available to customers. This decision by Judge Failer resulted from the second case against the U.S.-based exchange in June 2023. The second alleged that Coinbase had allowed trading of at least 13 crypto tokens that should have been registered as securities and failed to register its crypto assets offer and sale staking as a service program. How will the U.S. Security Act affect Coinbase lawsuit? For context, the U.S. Securities Act of 1993 defines security as financial instruments such as stocks, bonds, debentures, and investment contracts. It is designed to regulate the offering and sale of these instruments to protect investors. Coinbase argued that crypto assets, unlike stocks and bonds, do not meet the Securities Act definition of an investment contract, a position shared and supported by many in the crypto community. It could be recalled that Coinbase's $1 billion bond sale for qualified institutional buyers to raise capital will be due in 2030. This is a big win for the second's regulatory authority over the crypto sector, as new reports suggest the agency could ramp up enforcement and crypto regulations actions in 2024. Meanwhile, Coinbase Chief Legal Officer CLO Gerber Gruel took to X to notify the crypto community of the latest ruling and the exchange's resolve to defend itself in court. Looking ahead, we remain confident in our legal arguments. We look forward to proving we're right. We are eager for the opportunity to take discovery from the second for the first time, and we appreciate the court's continued consideration of our case, he said. Follow us on Google News.